All right, welcome. Uh, we've got PE PLC Learning Leaders 1.0. Uh, we are ready to go live on air. Um, we've got five learning leaders from uh, across North America getting ready to kick off our PE PLC, talking about all things learning leaders uh, and all things just PLC. It should be a great discussion tonight. We've got a great crew, and I feel uh, honored to be uh, virtually sitting in a room with these uh, with these great educators and looking forward to learning a ton from them. So um, we're going to start it off today with just some introductions. I'm going to let uh, Joe Bailey kick it off. Hi, um, I'm Joe Bailey. My Twitter username is at Love Fayed. Um, I've got my British flag up there, so that's where the accent comes from. But I'm actually in the US. I teach at DC Everest Senior High School in uh, Warsaw, Wisconsin. Um, we are a 10 through 12 school. Um, I'm in my 16th year, I've just finished up 16 years of teaching, and I have three learning themes within my group, um, um, assessment and uh, instructional models, and the third one's gone off the top of my head, so I'll come back to it. <laughs> Thanks, Hi, Joe. Thank, thank you, Joe, yeah. My name's Joe McCarthy. I teach at Meadowview Elementary in Farmington, Minnesota. We are a K-5 school. My Twitter handle is at JoeMcCarthy09. And I am the team leader for instructional technology and assessment. All right. Thank you, Joe. I'm Matt Pomeroy. Uh, my Twitter username is at phyzed underscore Pomeroy. Uh, I'm from the USA. I teach at Merton Intermediate School, uh, which is a suburb of Milwaukee. Uh, I teach 7th and 8th grade, uh, physical education and health. Uh, this is going into my 10th year teaching. The learning things, themes I'm a part of is curriculum and instruction, uh, technology, and assessment. Pass it over to Naomi. My name is Naomi Hartle, uh, at Ms. Hartle on Twitter. I'm um, from Canada, Saskatchewan, Canada. I teach at Star City School, and we're a K-12 school, just a little elementary school um, with about 100 students in it. Um, I basically teach grades 3 to grade 12 from, I do some phys ed, some health, and some math. Um, this will be, I'm going into my third year of teaching. My learning themes are assessment and the innovation and technology. I think I got everything. Very nice. Ahead, Thank Patty. you, Naomi. I'm Patty Castell. My Twitter username is at pk underscore lv2 teach pe. Love to teach pe. Um, I'm from the U.S. and I teach at Thorson Elementary. This is going to be my 24th year of teaching, and I um, have all five learning groups that my group will be doing. So I have Team One from North America. All right, very nice, Patty. As you can see, pretty diverse population here. Uh, got a lot of different learning themes covered. Uh, thank you, Patty, for that too. <laughs> um, so we're kind of getting going on our learning leader stuff, but we also wanted to make this interactive. Um, so there was a poll sent out, um, and will be just sent out, and I'll show you it right now too. Um, and basically, we just want to know, hey, what country are you listening from? Uh, where are you tuning in from? And if you can see on the screen right now, um, and like I say, it, it will be tweeted out from uh, Ms. Hartle here, I think, in just a second, or possibly just sent out. Um, and here's how you can respond. So you can text in, you can tweet, you can go ahead and um, you can go to pollev.com, uh, as you can see. And hopefully we get some interaction today, too, because we've got a lot of stuff that we're talking about. So um, happy to have everyone participating that way. Thank you. And I'm back. Hmm. All right, next we do want to talk about, and, and you know, Andy Vasily just talked a lot about the individual responsibilities of a PEPLC <laughs> team. Um, so we just kind of wanted to refresh everybody's uh, idea of what those individual responsibilities are. Uh, I'm just going to go through them first. Uh, we'll just kind of read them off. And I, I'll sh share it on my screen here so everyone can see it. And then as a group, let's just discuss you know, exactly what you think, exactly how you feel about some of those things, and maybe some of the key points that you see. All right. So we'll just do a quick screen share here.
right, should be set and ready. Um, while I'm working with my PE PLC team, I'm responsible for you know, identifying and selecting appropriate strategies to help meet my professional growth goals. That's one of the biggest things we're looking for. How can we grow professionally as teachers, as educators? Um, listening with an open mind, yet critical eye to each group member's growth goals too. So helping them out. Um, but of course keeping it open. You're contributing any supporting resources and or research to my learning team and to PEPLC.net for other learning use. So, you know, there is, you know, Andy has said, there's over 200 plus people that are learning on this. Uh, so it's very important to share what you are doing with others. Discussing and sharing thoughts on learning theme related research. Sharing successes and failures. Not everything is going to go perfect, so understand that there are some failures um, on that professional growth goal. Reporting on any changes in student learning, uh, engagement, and motivation as a result of your teaching practice. Staying in touch with our learning leader and other group members uh, regarding best times to meet. Um, setting specific learning theme related professional growth goals for my own teacher practice and openly contributing my ideas, thoughts, suggestions, and opinions without being judged right or wrong. So that is everyone's responsibilities, not just a learning leader. Uh, I'm going to bring it back to my group here uh, so we can kind of just discuss a few of those things that were, uh, that were talked about. What do, you, what do you all think? I think the really cool part about this uh, PEPLIC um, learning team that we're getting to be a part of is the fact that we will be able to reflect on our teaching and have some support to be able to just share our ideas and maybe get some even better ideas to incorporate in our own teaching. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. There's such a wealth of knowledge that I've discovered from be being able to talk to people on Twitter and, you know, why, why not increase our professional development that way. Yeah, I mean, I, I totally agree with that. We've, um, the more that we, a lot of us, I mean, certainly on the elementary level, we've got a lot of teachers who are in buildings by themselves, and, you know, the amount of time they may get to interact with other fire teachers may be quite limited. So, I mean, I'm lucky I'm at a high school level, I have a lot more people to work with, but still, we know there's so much great stuff going on out there. We want to make sure that we're all benefiting from it, and ultimately our students are all benefiting from it, so, we, you know, we can all enhance the learning experience of our students. I agree. The more we can, can collaborate with each other, the better our students are going to have more success. And the more success our students have, the happier and the healthier and the smarter they're going to become in the future. Yeah, and I know the one great thing about this for me too is I am one of those teachers that is kind of on my own. I am one of the, well, I'm really the only, only phys ed teacher in my school. So I have to collaborate with teachers outside of my school and, and, and in other schools. Whereas last year when I was in the bigger school that I was in, there was eight of us phys ed teachers, so it was easy. Whereas this is just a great opportunity to learn from people all around the world. So I'm really excited for this. <laughs> We're saying goodnight to everybody. Bedtime. <laughs> all right. Um. Well, I think the other part of it is, um, you know, not in a, a good way. It gives us some accountability for making sure we are staying, you know, top notch with our teaching, you know, and, and I like the part where it says, you know, share your successes, but also, you know, don't be afraid to share your failures because we all learn from those um, things as well. So, you know, I just look forward, you know, I'm not even sure what the range of um, teaching years is in our groups, but I, you know, I'm just so excited to be able to um, learn from each other so that's right we're not alone we're yes. here to help each other and to foster our student success I think the point you just mentioned about failure as well or when you have those problems to work with I read something not very long ago that failure is actually first attempt in learning I thought that's a that's a great way of looking at it you know things don't go according to plan and we learn more sometimes from the when things don't go right than we do from when they when they are going in the right direction. So that's a, that's a really, really good point, Patty. You know, I think as a conversation I had with Naomi here just a little while ago was, mm -hmm. um, 
you know, sometimes we focus on our strengths and, you know, you kind of want to continue to get better on your strengths too. And, and she brought up a great point in the fact that, you know, one of those themes that she chose was, was, was a weakness. And, and I absolutely love that. And, you know, it's again, how do you continue to build maybe some of those weaknesses? And I know I have tons of them, um, you know, but how do you can continue to pinpoint those weaknesses so, so they will become those strengths? And, um, you know, because the more you can build on and the more strengths you can build, as Joe, Joe said, you know, it, it all pans back to those kids. And, you know, it continues to push and make education better. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to sharing that way, too. Mm -hmm. um, and like I say, there are, there are 200 people. Um, tons of different learning teams. There's just lots of people out there that are researching too. Uh, some of the times and some of the things I throw out there aren't research based. And I think that's a key point too is how do we start looking at that research so we know, you know, these things are working and there has been some research into them, um, you know, so we can con con continue to implement those things. So that's the other part I like is that connectiveness between, you know, our professors um, mm -hmm. at, at colleges and universities where if there was a disconnect in the past, there's, there's not as much of a disconnect now, um, partially because of Twitter and I know because of PEPLC, -E -E it, it'll definitely be uh, much more connected in that sense. So. I just wanted to do a screen share um, of one of our uh, questions, I guess, poll questions. So let me just figure out. Uh, okay. Can you guys see that? Canada. We've got, <laughs> United, <laughs> we've got United States, Canada, USA, Oregon, and USA so far. Um, so, hey, we've got a couple people watching. Cool. <laughs> Very nice, and as we're a North American team, um, I, I suppose that's a good group of people to hit there, so. Yes. The other part of it is this will be on YouTube, so, and will be on the Peplic uh, website, so those that don't get to watch it right now will obviously still get to see it. Yeah, Absolutely. They will def we'll definitely and I hope we can also share this with our school board members and superintendents and principals, and as Joe and I discussed earlier on Twitter is, you know, we can make PE a core subject. Oh, yes. And for me, that's a, that's a huge goal of mine. Yeah, I can see it coming closer and closer and closer to that, you know, pretty much every day. And I know next year with my 7th and 8th grade, I see, uh, you know, 200, 205 7th and 8th graders five days a week. Um, you know, four days a week could be FIED. Uh, uh, one day a week could be health. Uh, and we might kind of mix it up a little bit, but I'm so excited the fact that I, you know I get to influence that many lives um, uh, five days a week. So uh, I think it's great. So yeah, let's keep making that push for it. Yeah. And this yeah, is definitely sure. this is definitely building on that. So share it with those in power. Yeah, they they need to know because so often they don't know unless we get out there unless we tell them. So you're right. This is a wonderful platform to share that with and to show, you know our lawmakers and legislators and so on, what is actually happening and hopefully inspiring more people to take on, take this sort of thing on board and, and, and run with it, keep improving their practice. We have the data, we have the research. Yes. And now we need to show it. All right, fantastic. Well, I think uh, let's try to move on here.